Scorpios, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in September. This reading is for all of the Scorpios out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the energy in September, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you connect with this reading. You feel like I am the reader for you and you would like to show some support to this channel. Hit the subscription link along with the notification bell to help this video um, so that you are notified one when the videos or readings are posted. And hit that thumbs up image to help this video circulate. If you need a personal private reading, the link to the email address is in the description box. I do have openings for the remaining of September. Again, this reading is for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so we have the lovers in the reverse. Gemini energy. Shadow side. Okay. Spirit, what other energies are here for my Scorpios? What other energies are here for the sign of Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we have the two, I'm sorry, the Ten of Swords. The Hangman, Pisces energy is here. Okay, let's see what else. This card is destroyed. What other energies are here? Why is this hangman card here for the sign of Scorpio? What? Okay. What is that? The fool card in the reverse. Why is the fool card here in the reverse? We have four, four. Okay. Now all of the cards are falling on the floor. All right. Trying to get this other uh, card. Where did the card go? Oh my goodness. I got it, finally. Okay. Sheesh. All right. I feel like I'm going to put these cards back in and do one shuffle. Why is the food car here? Three of swords. Some of you may have a lot going on mentally at this time. You may feel tired. We have the king of wands here. Along with the five of swords. Let's get one more. One more. Okay. The Ace of Wands. 
the Ace of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Cups. Some of you are disappointed. My dog chewed that card up, so excuse the card. <laughs> but um, some of you are disappointed. about the decision someone made regarding this relationship. There are deep regrets here. Someone is crying over spilled milk. Could be you, could be them. I feel like someone did not invest in this union because they needed to take some time out to work on themselves. Someone needed to take time out to reflect on their um, actions, the way they think. I feel like this person may have disappointed you or you them, let you down, stabbed you in your back. But I'm seeing in during this separation, I'm seeing growth. It's really dark. Um, some of you are not speaking to this person. Someone is in a really dark space. It's like the dark night of the soul. Being in that dark place, but within the dark place, growing, healing, and taking care of you because things were stuck in this union suspended in the air not moving forward and i feel like with the fool card in the reverse that's what made someone decide to not take the risk to invest in this anymore because it's like i'm investing in this but i'm not getting any getting anything out of it but a broken heart there could have been like minor arguments quarreling back and forth just like little disagreements to let you know that, you know what, this is not working. I need to move on with my life or move forward or try to work on myself. And that's the action that was taken in order for someone to feel like they had victory in the situation. Yeah, and now there's a new passionate beginning coming in with someone that you love or doing something that you love. So let's let's clarify. Let's clarify and see what other energies are here. see what else is going on. What other messages do you have for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? The, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, could be dealing with the Taurus. But yeah, I feel like it was illuminated to you that you um it was best for you to decide on walking away and not investing in this relationship anymore. I feel like with the Ten of Cups, you started feeling as if this is like, you started feeling as if um, you were unwanted because things be had, had become so unbalanced in this union. And I feel like the excitement of the union had, the flame had died out. The love, you started losing hope in this situation. Yeah, because things were going so slow. Not moving, not going anywhere. And you knew your worth. You knew that you deserve better. So with this four of swords, I'm seeing that, you know, you may be thinking about this at this point, wondering like, is this really over? Will you ever revisit this again? But right now, and I'm just seeing you working on yourself. 
Or this could be the other way around. And with this Ten of Swords, yeah, something has come to an end. Something has come to an end. Now, I feel like that's this person is, is up in their heads. They're having anxiety, sleepless nights, because now they want to come rushing towards you. They want to come rushing in. They want to come start rushing in, but I feel like this person still has choices. They still, with their seven of cups, this person has multiple um, options. This person still has options. Yeah. And with the seven of wands, you're guarded anyway. So if they come in, you're not going to just take their um, offer. You're guarded. You're, you've blocked this person because they're dealing with multiple people with their three of cups. Yeah, this person is juggling. They may be coming in to have sex with the Ace of Wands coming out. This person may be thinking about sex. They want to take control. They want to control you by using sex. That's what I'm hearing. And with this Ace of Pentacles, you want someone that's coming in with a, something tangible. Something that's going to be long-lasting. Yeah, something balanced. And I feel like you're patiently waiting. Yeah, you're patiently waiting for this two of cups. Someone that's going to give you reciprocity. There's going to be give and take. There's going to be equal love, balance in this union. And you're waiting. You've decided that you are going to wait. And you're also, you've also decided that you're moving away from this person that makes you feel uncertain about everything. Could be a Cancer or a Pisces. I feel like you two do not see eye to eye. This person wears a mask. They present themselves to you one way and behind your back there's someone else. Promiscuous, Queen of Wands. That's your person. And you're like, no, I want true love. I want a relationship, something that's long-lasting. Four of Wands, a stable marriage, a stable, happy marriage. Where we can put forth effort in the union and, you know, have success. Something that's going to make me happy with this um, sun card, Leo's energy. Some of you may be meeting a Leo and the Seven of Swords. Yeah. You don't want to, um, this person was deceptive. Deceptive. And you want balance. This person did a lot of things behind your back or under your nose and you didn't see it. And now they want to come in quickly to converse. What's the outcome? This person wants to come in quickly to have a conversation with you. Yeah, but see, the Knight of Wands, they're still a player. They want to come in and have this conversation. I feel like this person wants to come in to have sex. And then as fast as they come in, they're going to roll back out. Yeah, Three of Swords, yep. As fast as they come in, they're going to break your heart and they're going to roll right back out. And then the cycle, if you continue on in it, it's going to repeat itself. Yep, you're going to be disappointed, let down, and having regrets that you you made that decision to be to open yourself up to this person again instead of waiting on this new love that's coming in. Yeah, they want a, a new beginning. They want to work things out, or you're working on yourself. And I feel like you're going to make a decision. 
you're going to you're going to make a decision that's going to be beneficial to you whereas though you can heal and um something new is going to come in so i am going to leave it at that scorpios this is your reading for the energy in september comment below let me know if this is your story share like subscribe hit the notification bell be safe i'm sending you love light peace and healing energy thank you so much for watching Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.